So, to recap, Mr. Science Officer, sir, sir, ZTech, sir, how are you doing? <laughs> Uh, yeah, we have got the the rocket side and we had a little bit of a breach um hopefully the robots are going to come along and fix this i've put some turrets down just to be sure so we got the rocket silo down and we are making what was it control units you've put down let me have a oh, i think i just hit my communication device pretty loud there uh at yeah. the rocket silo yeah you're making control units here with the power of the robots that's pretty strong uh, one of the other things we need is rocket fuel, and we make that using solid fuel, which is made using the variety of different oils. So I'm going to make my way up towards that patch there, and, uh, and make rocket fuel. Like, ten solid fuels make a rocket fuel, so I think it's better to ship the rocket fuel via robots than either the yeah. oil or the, the solid fuel or anything like that. That should be a pretty solid one. That's That's my... That's my plan for the next two minutes. Uh, now the question is, which one should we make it out of? Which one and do we... we... The answer is, we're running out of every single one oh, of them. Actually, yeah, look at that, we, we really are. Because we are cracking down... <laughs> cracking down, we're cracking down on the heavier oils uh, to bring them down to petroleum. We've got 5.9 heavy, we could make it out of heavy. Yeah, but we're not uh, cracking down heavy because we tell it not to activate the pump unless it's more than something. Yeah, so we need... I'm, I'm just asking for 10 chemical plants. I don't think plant. we need more look. No, we're, we're probably we do. done. I'm gonna I'm gonna actually siphon off of that side. I just need... I just need the robots to bring me some stuff. Because <laughs> I completely emptied my inventory. <laughs> Alright, I need to make these... Well, do we have this right? Solid fuel, there we go. We're making it out of heavy solid fuel. That should be nice and easy. Uh, I'm gonna make three of these down into some assemblers. This is bad wiring here, but I'm going to take it in inserters. Uh, there, there, and here. And we should now be underway as long as I can copy and paste stuff out. Bam, bam. Alright, awesome. Now I want these going into passive provider chests, which I don't have on me because I'm like, I was like, oh, we finished the game, there's no need to have anything on me. No, 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 I still need to have a lot of stuff on me. <laughs> what have we got in this box? Wire and barrels. <laughs> Future archaeologists are going to come to this planet and be like, what did these people do? Look at this ritual sacrifice of barrels and, and data wire. Over here they were sacrificing copper to keep the petroleum flowing. Yeah, that's the one thing I'm thinking now as a person in the present, quote unquote. <laughs> yeah, 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 as, as, as a present, presentian. Yeah, I'm thinking about the future and what the future people are gonna think about the past. And the one thing is just go comes to always comes to mind that one day they're gonna find a per pers well a skeleton of a, a fossil. Yeah, yeah. Fossil. With well, let's just say some fabric that he was probably wearing when he was buried, but also a piece of glass with scratches on it. Yeah, what's and what? On his face, or just around? No, 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 just in the pocket. And oh, okay. It could have some metal on it, and you know, just you... <laughs> yeah, just this, this, this roughly cuboid thing in his pocket. I'm guessing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, just, and I'm just thinking. <laughs> well, ritualistic. Obviously, we carried him around to uh, to to channel the powers of the box, uh, the the <laughs> strong mythical symbolism in our culture. Yeah, I mean, it's just. How, how does one that doesn't have that explain? How does one get to the conclusion of what an advanced piece of technology is? Well, just just looking at it. Yeah, I mean, you would hope that we have slightly better records from the time. Obviously, there there will be things lost, but something as ubiquitous as the modern communication device or their version of. Um, yeah, but, so this is the thing. Oh, are you thinking even further in the future, like uh, no, aliens no, no. poking at our civilization's ash and remains? Well, yeah, well, you can go that far, or you can go closer to present day, where a lot of our um, quote-unquote data is stored on servers that are not really protected from solar flares. Okay, yes, yes. And a direct impact where it just goes through the magnetic sphere would destroy a lot of data and infrastructure for it. It would, it would. If you could imagine, 
Yeah, the the entire of uh, I don't know, Google being taken down. Googleplex. The out the alphabet no, no, no. soup. <laughs> if Google gets taken down, that's fine. Google doesn't keep data; it keeps addresses. Well, they've got a lot of data on the back end nowadays, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that's user data that everyone's talking about. <laughs> but uh, I'm just their main purpose is to collect and addresses of where things are. Mm -hmm, yeah. So, if that disappears, that's not as a big of a problem as uh, losing Wikipedia. No. Or yeah. um, the Encyclopedia Britannica. Or something like that. You just lose knowledge on a global scale is scary to humans because that's what we are. Knowledge. Yeah, knowledge. It's what our culture is. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it's always interesting to think about the state of human culture, about how it has taken on a life of its own. It's it's almost like the the mythical hive consciousness that we attribute to um, to insects and stuff. Which I'm not sure whether they actually do have a consciousness or whatever. You know, I'm I'm, I'm not yeah. I'm not the one to come here and make those decisions. Yes, I am. What am I talking about? But anyway, <laughs> but yeah, like the the way that culture has kind of taken on its own own being. I always find that very very fascinating. Um, I'm gonna try and make some low density structures. Just just quickly, whilst we were talking, I yeah, um, yeah. I had made the rocket fuel factory over here. It's not particularly big or efficient or whatever, but it makes. Um, makes 10 solid fuels, then the rocket fuels get put into provider chests, and then these beautiful robots come down and take it back to the silo where I have a, uh, a receiver, a requester chest, that's the one, the name, the word, going into the rocket silo. And now I want to try and make some low density materials, structures here, which is copper, steel, and plastic, which I'm uh, just making some lines of now. Somewhere before, let's say, World War One. Ooh, That's wow, period. yeah, okay, going well back. Yeah, um, people could say that the, how advanced the nation is, is the equivalent to the amount of paper it's consuming, for books, for basically anything like that. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, that could be dedicated to true, you know, just... It seems logical. Yeah, it's it's a good proxy for how advanced. I think I think that's the word. You know, by yeah. looking at how much paper you've got, you, you get a good idea of what their entire industrial process is about. Yeah. So, what would be, what would it be today? Ooh, because I mean, you would as imagine... a society, we're using less paper than ever. Yeah, and and it's not as even if um, we could say something as simple as energy, because a part of the Part of the cycle of technology is to become more energy efficient. So using yeah. the same, using the, the the same process but more efficiently it is higher technology and comes out at a, a lower score on you know that imaginary metric. So I don't know. I don't know. Perhaps raw matter. How much matter gets consumed? I mean, there's got to be some so, sort of like computational unit. I have a, an idea, and it's internet speed. Internet speed, yes, yes, the connectivity is a good way of, of, of measuring that. Oh, yeah, I can, I can see where you're coming from. Um, also, low density at... structures are just about as soon as I can find them to be put into the machine. Uh, I the mean, rocket. you have places like uh, South Korea that have already five. I think they already have five G internet. Uh, well, networks. Yeah, yeah. All around their country, while the rest of the world is just. Struggling with 4G. <laughs> yeah, I need, I'm gonna say struggling with. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah, really struggling with. <laughs> um, and then you have um, places that don't have any connectivity, and you can see the difference between places with high-speed internet and well, it's basically demand of it. Yeah, yeah. Of course, if you have high demand of something, you're gonna get uh, the product ev eventually. So, could internet speed be a measure of a country's technological progress? Yeah, I, I think I think you could definitely make the argument for that. I definitely think you could make the argument. 
Yeah, I can't. I can't even think of anything that would even come close to making that sort of comparison. Yeah, um, there's no no like materialistic resource that you could go. Oh, look, that's disappearing. So they're they're doing better. Yeah, I th I, th I think probably yeah. Internet speed. You've you've got it. That that network connectivity rates. Yeah, that that's the only thing that could pop to mind. Or well, then again, it's it's all about. It all always comes down to data consumption. Yeah. So is a nation extremely well? Does it produce or consume data at a higher rate than every any other nation? Okay. Uh, radars. I'm just just working through the satellite right now. What we need for the different oh. things to go in. So far, everything we want is provided by the system. Rocket fuel, low density structure, and processing units. That's the expense. <laughs> so I need to make many more of these problems. <laughs> wow. Alright, we've got the robots. Uh, no, that's not what I want. Can I clear my hand, please? <laughs> I do like this building by the map. It's uh, very, very useful. Building by the map? Yeah. On the map, uh, like pressing shift and letting the, the robots um, do it for you. Letting the robots. <laughs> oh. So, what would you say is the greatest human achievement? Uh, supernova surfing. Did I ever tell you that I used to be part of the uh, Intergalactic Super Supernova Surfing Federation? It's a, it's a pretty pretty extreme sport that I used to take up in my younger days. Uh, obviously, not something that I could do now. Too many responsibilities as a captain. Too much of a, an extreme sport might might end up getting damaging my brain somehow. But you would wait. You would wait uh, outside the, the the expanding shell of a red giant that's very obviously just about to blow its top. We're very good at predicting these things nowadays. Obviously, uh, and okay. you 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 sit stand there with your. Um, Solar solar shield uh, solar shield slash surfboard, uh, very high technology thing, but I'm, I'm sure you can conceive of how it would work. Uh, and you wait for the first shells to start being thrown off. Now this is quite a a, a long term sport. This is played out over many months, uh, and you, uh, you you ride those waves of excited particles and uh, thrown out nuclei. Uh, it's it's quite extreme. Uh, you, you're obviously doing it for for style points. Uh, if you if you can't look good while you're doing it, then why why are you even? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sorry for stopping you right there, but uh, do we have any underground pipes being created and put in the system? Underground pipes being... I don't know about being put in the system, I know we've definitely got some. Oh, there is a chest, and it's an empty... It's a regular chest. Oh, well, uh, good luck with that. <laughs> Whereabouts is it? There. Oh, it is a wooden it. chest. Look at that. I, I, I'm relatively close. Okay, so... But yeah, so, so uh, supernova surfing. You should give it a go at some point when we get back. Uh, <laughs> highly exciting. What about the technological achievement? Uh, the ability to look back in time using time lag. Um, obviously, since we since we um, mastered bending space and time, we could go to any point in the universe, uh, look back the distance at the point we wanted to to study so say we wanted to see what what indeed killed the dinosaurs we would jump seven, uh, 64 million years into the past and uh, okay. uh and go and see what was going down use our incredible telescopic um abilities uh, of course the the best way to get a a good clear sharp image is to uh, sit about a thousand AU away from the, from any star and let its gravitational lensing uh, act as a, a big telescope for you and you can see the smeared out ring of the universe around the outside of the star um, be beautiful beautiful Einstein at his finest no matter how you look at the universe every single star is not the star you're looking no, at. No, no, you're looking at the past, right? Yeah, so even if you want to go to past, into the past, are you going to your present compared to the moment when you saw the star light? 
Beach. So, uh, for instance, if you look across to Beetlejuice, the top left shoulder of Orion, it might be the top right, I can, I can never remember which one. Um, <laughs> and uh, we're fairly sure it's it's going to blow at some point. It's one of the ones that are, are, are still imminent on the explosion. Um, so if we jumped over, if we had a way to teleport ourselves over there, would we arrive for the explosion? Like Because because there's that amount of time lag in between us if you will we're seeing it like it's yeah. almost ready to go by the time we jump by the time we get there we're seeing the light that should have been released instantly so it might have already blown up that it's really hard to talk about these things isn't it <laughs> so here's another question oh no my, my brain <laughs> <laughs> ah time streams uh, <laughs> uh... Time travel is complicated and you should not be messed with, but everyone wants to. Yeah, well, everyone likes the idea of being able to uh, to, to fix things, right? Because ev everyone, at every second of every day, goes, Oh, I could have done that better. <laughs> so, what would you want to fix? What would I want to fix? Uh, this whole Big Bang problem? <laughs> I, I, I think it was a big error. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the entire thing? Yeah, yeah, just the, the whole thing. I like... It was obviously a bad idea. If we could go back and try again with different numbers, that that would be great. This this whole ripping the universe to shreds. I, I don't know. I don't know about that. Let's put that down there. That down there. Um, I haven't got any more bullets. Oh no. Well, I mean, I've got some terrible bullets. Oh, you guys can't defend either. Can I? What's your thoughts on automation? I mean, we are heavily using it, but... Uh... I think it's a, a great great thing that's going to come a lot oh, that has come along and uh, freed up loads of time for people to learn the finer arts of captaining uh, uh, okay <laughs> or whatever it is that they they want to learn right i mean obviously there, there's all sorts of dangers that could happen you know we could end up mindless idiots that only follow what is said in the calendar um but Chances are that's not actually what's going to happen because people people like to think. People like Honestly. to do stuff, yeah. And there's nothing quite like sitting at the end of a project and going, "That was all right, that was yeah, okay, cool. That was a it was a hard slog, but we did it." You know, that's yeah. pe people like that. People like that. They don't like getting started though, and that's the problem. Maybe it, automation can come along and get, make the getting started easier. That would be great. I always feel that automation and AI in general could help a lot of people, enabling them to be more creative. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, imagine the brain, human brain, in, uh, computer brain interfaces where you think of a thing and you can make it is appear as you're thinking of it. Yeah. You don't have to rely on your hand-eye coordination in order to transfer the idea to the paper or canvas or screen. Yeah, um, there's none of this pesky learning a skill process. You just go, I want this, and it appears in front of you, and you go, that's exactly as I pictured it. Amazing. Yeah, it's... You, how you put it is, it, it sounds bad, but... I still think that uh, the ability to... Why are we so low on oil again? <laughs> fuel, rocket fuel. I bet it's all the rocket fuel. Hang on, let's have a look. Do we do we need more? Do we need more? <laughs> that's that's the what? question. Do we need uh, oil what? oil production. Do we have enough? I I just I just added the new oil fields to the system. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, it's on the line to the copper and iron. Oh, that one. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at you being busy while we've been talking. Wow. <laughs> the past five minutes, I've just been running around going like, "Come on, low density structures, <laughs> do your thing." <laughs> Finish already. <laughs> I want to get off this I don't, like, that That is the thing, though. We can see the end now. We've got the rocket being made. There is a, a satellite literally just waiting for the rocket fuel to get together. Um, it's, it's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. I think rocket fuel is going to be the thing we end up waiting on. Um, the low-density structures seem to be doing their things. So, Captain, are we using the satellite as a... Um just in case something goes wrong, we're not well at this Yeah, yeah, yeah. So something to hold on to whilst we uh, we're watching all. The... <laughs> oh. Okay. It's, it's it's like it's like a, a bit of driftwood to a uh, to a man on a uh, man on an ocean, right? It, it, you could probably float. You probably don't need the driftwood, but it gives you grounding to the world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
So what is missing from this situation? Blackjack, hookers. Dan, you can't use that in the video now. <laughs> no, I, th I think that's a common enough trope that I can leave that in there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> debatable, but okay. I mean, can you really say that the younger generations actually watched Futurama? Actually, I have no idea. So that, that's crazy, right? Like, thinking about the things that people... Uh, just thinking about the things that I've seen that you haven't really spins me out. <laughs> <laughs> I I still feel like I'm a 21 year old, right? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, 21. Yeah, yeah, literally forever. I mean, like, if I had to pick an age, 28 was amazing. Um, 28? Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I I I I'd got it together enough to actually <laughs> make decisions that really impact my life well. <laughs> Um, but I was definitely young enough to, to enjoy it <laughs> properly. Now I'm just tired all the time. <laughs> oh, you are really automating it now. Uh, we do need more sol uh, rocket fuel, so I would suggest switching to that production. Yeah, we definitely do need more rocket fuel. Let's go Let's go and see what we can do about why fixing that. Why has this up. stopped? What? Oh, plastic. Why, are, why has plastic stopped? Because it's been consumed. Being consumed by... Everything. Just yeah, well, yeah. The blue circuits, red circuits. Uh, there, there was something in the rocket that needed plastics. I can't remember what. Uh, the frames that you are making. Do you have any speed modules? I happen to have twenty-one on me. Well, put them in the refineries. refineries. Or uh, if you can upgrade them to level two speed or for level three speed modules, that would be even better. Uh, not with what I've got on me. There needs to be a way of just like. Control alt shifting the item that you want to build, and then the robots bring everything for that. Uh, like the, the 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 raw stuff at the bottom. I think that would be like because occasionally you just want like the the chemical factories. I just wanted to make five, and then I'll be done. I, there was no need to make an entire thing. Like this is probably why I keep being like, "Hey, did we make that ro that chemical factory machine?" Um, but like that would be the situation where you want that. I, I suppose yeah. it is a little bit against the whole ethos of back to Oreo, but, you know, whatever. So the, the thing is, you can technically do that for a requester chest. Oh, it's, uh, yeah, it's shift, and then click on the chest, and it's now, oh, give me two ironing, uh, two iron. I see, so, like, you would be copying it across. Yeah, so, yeah, if, yeah, like, okay. I'm copying the blueprint. The recipe. What, yeah, yeah, the recipe, it also do, does that for logistic chests. Oh, well, I, I, today I learned Today I learned. So what I'd want to do then is take a copy of one of these and pop it over there. I then want to put a assembler down here. Uh, clear my clear my thing. Select the speed module three. Copy, paste it to the requester chest. Ah, yeah. Look at that, and then just like turn all these up by like. Yeah, but we don't have uh, speed modules too. So then what I want to do is uh, to, oh, I don't have another requester chest. <laughs> I have. Okay, here you go. Thanks. Uh, so I take this request to chest. I put this down over here. I request a module two. Bam. Shift. Oh, copy. oh wait, 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 wait. Oh. Just a second. Uh, put it right here. Then put two uh, like oh. this, and then stand in the middle and hold F. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, that's yeah. You got that. <laughs> Sweet. All right. Well, all right. Well, we got. We've got to be some time. I think we can rip these back up now. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> Factorio. I am the assembler now. <laughs> oh, here come the blue circuits. Ah. <laughs> I'm gonna say blue circuits, but they're all recharging. <laughs> there we go. Caution! Do not approach. <laughs> Serious business. <laughs> Okay, do I have anywhere? In oh, I can make some Mark Twos. All right, that's good. Nah, it's still don't, it's it's still only there for enough time for it to go. Oh yeah, I should move. Yeah. I mean, if we were trying to make a um, set of airplane lights or something like that, you know, a <laughs> runway landing strip, this would be amazing. Uh, should we go and figure out what's going on with the rocket? Who knows what's happened in the time we've been doing that? Six percent. <laughs> Pretty good. We don't we don't have a, a rocket a, a satellite yet. We're still waiting on some rocket fuel. How much? Only only like twelve more rocket fuel. Crazy. Do, There's like do you rocket fuel really, in here. What's happening with the speed modules to put them in the refineries? 
Ah, uh, so I'm not getting red circuits. That's the problem. Oh. We have a red circuit issue. What are we waiting on? Plas oh. Plastic is the problem. Which, for which we need more oil. So we need the processing units and the speed modules. <laughs> yep. To make more plastics. To make more speed modules. Ah. Uh, done it to us again. The circle of life. <laughs> Ooh. I see a clock. Oh, what are these? You just connect the wire to the gate. Oh, wow. Can you drop a single item? Let's try this. Then. Ah. Oh, it just stops there. Okay, so what is this actually? What, what is this? How do we do? I didn't. Oh, enable, disable. Okay, so there we go. If you gotta, you gotta click the enable, disable to, to make it not powered. We're re uh, we want to read about. Oh, it's not a detector. Uh, you can. You've got to just change. Ah, look, and then we got pulse or hold. The signal is sent continuously as long as there are items on the belt. That's what we want. Look at this. And then we put more than just one item on. Oh, yeah. Look at this. I bet we could even do it with undergrounds and hide the workings. <laughs> this is a strange clock. <laughs> we did it. We did it. <laughs> the challenge completed. <laughs> but this is new oh. to me. I didn't know we could put wires right on the belt. That's That's amazing. That. Yeah, you can. Uh, yeah, you as you can as you saw, there is multiple system ways that it will function, like a gate where it stops any item on it. Yeah, um, you can enable, disable, read, and ah, oh, you could have like control based on other belts. Ah, oh, it would be it'd be wondrous. It would be wondrous. <laughs> Still not. Get, are, are we taking too many robots out of the system or something? Logistics robot available 1,300. Yeah, uh, I, we were at 1,500 last time, so yeah, I should imagine the 200 uh, we've been playing with. Oh, do you have a tier 2 series build modules at least? I have a couple in the middle of swapping out. I don't know if there's a quicker way to remove them. Uh, I do not know. Uh, and you get one speed 2 module. Right, as quick as we can. <laughs> Need more red circuits. It's all about red circuits now. Spice red belt production stops. Plastics. Hmm. So if we could do it all again, the one thing we do is have a bigger, <laughs> bigger oil facility. Uh, oh, coal! Coal is the problem. Do we not have a coal flow? Ah, ah, yeah. I mean, I, you, you've got that right. Just new, look, look at the size of the field. You could totally, totally fill that up. Yeah. Oh, look at it flow now. Yeah, you, you're right. That that was definitely the problem. <laughs> oh, I've actually gone through most of my speed modules. Oh, can you not speed module the... You should be able to. Oh, I, I, a... I was pressing shift, not control. I see what I did there. <laughs> yeah, it's not fast. Ah, <laughs> oh, so much better. So much better. Oh, we oh, have made nice. a satellite. Oh, yeah. So we're just waiting for the rocket silo now. Just fill yes. it with whatever speed modules I've got. Oh, a beacon? No, I've actually not. Though I've been told they are the secret to high, high um, efficiency production. Seems like it, yes. Um, so if I, I've um, only got one speed module, but I'll put it in there for the moment. And doesn't that then impart its abilities onto everything in the, yes. the yellow square or whatever? That's cool. And and you can also put speed modules into the f facility ah, as well. Ah, so they stack. That's nice. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah. That is really, really nice. Oh man, 8%. What's the hold up here then? It's the blue circuits, of course it's blue circuits. Why would it not be blue circuits here? Yeah, I, have, I have 50 blue circuits that I have on me. <laughs> oh, and then speed. Wow. Wow. Let's do that. Alright. What? So I think what we actually need is another uh, rocket control module maker. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Do this in the most hacksy way I possibly can. Okay, that's not how to do it then. Fair enough. Uh, there we go. Yeah, All right, that should now produce much quicker. I guess. We've got all the... So we have a singular Which satellite. Which is all we need. That, that's it. That's a, that's a win condition right there. That's, uh, that's something to clutch to as we drift through the voids of space, hoping that the, uh, the network can pick us up. So many rocket control units. Well, you know, we want to make sure we're pointed in the right direction. 
I don't know about you. I mean, you're a science officer. I'm a captain. <laughs> Neither of those is chief navigator. I uh, guess, but still, just. I mean, look, look at the sky. Do you recognise any of those constellations? No. <laughs> no, neither do I. Oh, do you know what is also funny? Uh, 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 I can't think of anything non-offensive. So go on. Beacons also, beacons also stack. But the beacons also stack. Oh, that is cool. Oh, that's super cool. Okay, that should. In theory. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's a vital <laughs> step of the process missing here. Put it into the rocket silo. <laughs> Okay, now we're missing low density structures. That's uh, that's all right. That's fine. Um, Everything is fine. Yeah, there's like a hundred just waiting for the robots. Which actually, we don't want to be waiting for robots. How can we bring them over here? I'm noticing there's a lot, of, lot of space at the top of the belt until. Okay. The, I'm, I'll be back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make another monstrosity. <laughs> yeah, they all stack. <laughs> nice. Uh, we have uh, crafting speed plus one hundred and twenty percent. Whoa! And the top plus one, the top one has crafting speed plus one hundred and sixty percent. That is outrageous. I love it. That is that is amazing. <laughs> Here's a question: We can actually make a circle of beacons around oh, yeah. around it and give it the most. It can. I I don't know how much a single. Yeah. Is it is it worth? Putting all the beacons down, or do you want extra machines? Yeah. That's a question I want to ask. Oh. That's a question I want to ask. Well, always when you're facing upgrades, it's like tower defense games, yeah. right? You, you're always put making the the payoff of upgrades versus versus extra towers. Just just stretches. <laughs> <laughs> what what did he do? Uh, I'm bringing. A very long line of low density structures over here because it's actually quicker than the robots. Ah, uh, well, yeah. <laughs> and it's the thing that we're like slow on at the moment. Oh, I missed. <laughs> <laughs> Ta da! Alright, that should speed everything up. So this one is 170% speed upgrade. 100 and. Oh, that, that's already getting close to being double. That's nice. Um, no, ah, oh, so plus. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we can technically upgrade it even more. So we're now waiting on the fuel. Everything is being sped up incrementally. I like it. Okay, let's go see if the rocket fuel needs to be brought down here because the robots are too slow, or whether they're keeping up nicely. Man, the number of circuits being flown around here. <laughs> and I'm going to start trying to make more rocket fuel. Hmm. hmm all right, I'm ripping this down. I'm going to start again. I think we'll be more efficient if we empty these onto a belt. Yeah, much more probably looking at it. Please you stop throwing me around like that? Ah. <laughs> there and there. Uh, you want to be on heavy cracking, not. Uh, heavy solid fuel, not light solid fuel. Thank you. Oh my. Yeah, that's roughly how I'm feeling. It, uh, it's the hundred, hundred rocket parts. It's like, that's, a, that's a big number. Oh my. Oh? Good uh, George Takaya I mean, impression, by the way. Uh, yeah, we're <laughs> gonna have a power problem. Are the we actually gonna have the speed yeah, modules that are eating? Oh, that's cool. Let me have a look. Let me have a look. Oh, yes. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, we have enough solar panels to make another field, right? <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> yeah, all right. All right. Let's 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 not have this clunky using the robots process. <laughs> I mean, the more robots we use, the more power it costs us. Yeah, 17%. Well, we're definitely doing good work here. Okay, now we're just yes. waiting on the actual production of fuel. So let's see how fast this is going now. Well, to me, it it's looks at like... It's 235% production speed. Oh, what, over, over on the side? This one around it, beacons. Oh, look at this. 235, that's the magic number, over 200. Yeah. Love it. Yeah, just... Just hover over it and it'll tell you uh, 
Crafting speed, speed uh, four point one eight seven five. That's two hundred and thirty five percent plus. That's that's nice. I mean, technically, it does take up more than two machines worth of space, but <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Yeah, but if you put the machine right here, all three of these we, beacons we, are also yeah, going to will affect. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, you could definitely like row machines, row beacons, row machines, row beacons. Yeah, yeah like that. Yeah, we're we're actually going to shut down tonight, aren't we? <laughs> I think we are. Maybe, maybe we will survive the night. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> that's that's going to be. I've never seen this machine, this place shut down. I mean, so the actually, fuel does flow. It looks like we only have to wait like 20 or 30 seconds for each 10 and coming through. Unfortunately, it's out of sync, so we end up with six rocket fuel in there. One, two, three, four. Oh, it is six ago. Okay. The amount of solid fuel makers that we've got. Looks like we can produce five machines. Oh, maybe six machines worth. You put a bunch of speed modules in, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that's, that's coming down further. Only to about here, though, unfortunately. Still pretty good. Still pretty good. And we did we survive the we night. We did survive we, the night. What? Beautiful. Was that was that the whole night? Let's have a look at the graph here. Yeah, nice. Uh, the past ten minutes. Yeah, look, there's the dip of the night. I've only got the past what, ten minutes worth of. Oh, enable chroma support. Uh, Wait, what? <laughs> this can this can make my RAM flash different colours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got RPG RAM. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but what what's <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, make it flash the, the, the pattern of the well, clock. Oh, yeah, the pattern of the clock. Or the uh, the current state of the power network. <laughs> oh, God, no. Oh, we have a lot of solid fuel yeah, now. Yeah, I got, I got a little board waiting. Uh, I need some landfill. Wow. Wow. Robots, is there any in the system? Bring me landfill. I don't think there is, actually. Okay, more rocket fuel away. Not enough solid fuel because we ran out of heavy oil. No. Where's my beacons? <laughs> I was promised beacons. Uh, 110%. Nice. Very nice. Man, even I... Oh, no, these are because of the speed module. So it's like, even these ones are getting a bonus. A bonus. A bonus. But, uh... Wow, I've never sounded more Scottish in my life. Yeah. Ugh, a bonus. Always the wait. And we can ju the only thing we can do is basically just either place more beacons and. It, it, yeah. I, I, and I wait. think our only recourse right now is just to place more beacons. Oh my god, this belt was. Ah, <laughs> uh, right uh, has it been placed the wrong way around? Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> my fault. Sorry. I literally just did that. <laughs> Let's try and get the. Uh the rocket fuel fury, but I ended up not needing to use that anyway. That could still be a straight through. <laughs> All right, much better. That'll, that'll explain the slight lack of blue <laughs> blue circuits. Yeah. Oh my god. Every single... Well... Yeah, production building has a number of pr products that it made. Oh, really? Oh, yes, of course. Oh, wait, let's go back to the beginning. Where... Where's the yeah. youngest? Yeah, this is a level one machine. Uh, we've made 1,788 cogs from there. Oh my god, 12,000 cogs here. 12,000, that's nice. How about this? 10,000. Uh, 14,000. 14,000 on the first cog machine. 45,000 cable in this machine. 45, <laughs> that 48,000 down here. 63, 6. 90,000! <laughs> wow, yeah, 90,000 down the bottom, wow. Oh, have we ran out of iron? No, please don't. Oh my god, we ran out of iron at the bottom tree! God! Uh, Chuck Norris, no. uh, look at that. Well, we just need to re... re kajigger it and send it to a different... I mean, we still got some, there's a... there's... how much there? <laughs> uh, it'll be worth sending one train down here for the 7,000 that's left. How close are we? Just waiting on these rocket control units. And we for those need blue circuits. I think we should stop doing research. A lot of the blue yeah, circuits are going into like yellows and stuff. I mean, let this one roll through, um, and then then we'll leave it there. Oh, hey, you're not you're not going to get through here. This is really well defended. There's like a player here as well. Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> 